Well, earlier I spoke with Gloria Larriva, the coordinator of the Cuba and Venezuela Solidarity Committee. She supports President Maduro's view that the OAS is not a legitimate partner to help bring stability to Venezuela. Um, Venezuela does not consider the Organization of American States to be a legitimate body, especially since it is interfering directly in Venezuela's internal politics. The head of the OAS, the Secretary General Luis Almagro, has been insisting on using the instrument of the OAS against Venezuela, demanding elections when Venezuela's national economic, um, national electoral council has ruled that the elections will take place next year, not this year. All right, so Maduro thinks that the opposition is really aiming for a coup. Would this solve the problem if he were out, Gloria? Yes, but the right wing is actually calling for overthrow of Nicolas Maduro. They are calling for violence in the street. They've actually said to overthrow him. Therefore, the process of the government in calling for a new constitution, uh, organizing constituent assemblies in order to bring together all parties to be able to have a new uh, Magna Carta, which they believe will bring uh, peace and dialogue. And also, there is an economic crisis created by the fall in oil prices, more than half of the fall in oil worldwide, which has caused problems in other countries as well that produce oil. So there is a very, very persistent effort to try to resolve the economic crisis, but the National Assembly is refusing to cooperate with the presidency of Nicolas Maduro. There is no doubt a huge struggle ongoing but the United States government is also a player in financing by tens of millions of dollars the right-wing opposition.